Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I've got the uh, trailer hooked up and I'm going for a drive. Guess where I'm going? We're off on our little adventure again. I found a guy that provides bagged up manure free all we have to do is go and turn up and pick it up so i managed to get a trailer uh, about six months ago I've, I've used it once uh with a makeshift number plate and that fell apart because it, it's been raining because it was made out of cardboard as you do um and now uh, six months later i finally managed to get a number plate well i finally got around to getting a number plate made so I got one made, fitted the number plate today. So because the number plate has been fitted to the car, I have to go and uh, use it now, don't I? So it's me off to get some horse manure. I can't wait. <laughs> manure is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely wonderful stuff for the garden. It's full of nitrogen. So it adds a lot of nitrogen to the soil. One of the issues with the horse manure is it's not as good as cow manure because horses don't have those um, four stomachs just like cows, so they don't digest the grass as well as the cow does. So what you get out is a lot more concentrated and a lot more uh, rich in nitrogen. So if I could get it, then cow manure would be the one that I'd really go for. But unfortunately I can't, and it's horse manure that I can get free access to. And you know me, I'm all about getting stuff for free. Uh, someone will, I'm sure Brian will have a comment to say about that. <laughs> the thing that I really like, horse manure or cow manure, is that the effect that it has on the soil is it really adds that organic matter and that really adds that moisture holding capacity to, to the soil. It really helps aerate the soil because the worms love it. When you spread manure to the, onto the soil, the worms absolutely love it. They drag it down into the earth, really incorporate it, and they'll do a lot of the digging for you. So that's another reason that I really like horse manure. Because it's still plant material that's not fully broken down. It's broken down to a degree, but it's not completely, completely gone. So it contains a lot of minerals and a lot of nutrients other than nitrogen that were in those plant matter. So that's another thing that really is beneficial about using horse manure. You let horse manure rot for a couple of years it'll turn into some really amazing compost it'll it'll be absolutely amazing stuff because the horse manure that we're going to get now is going to be quite fresh the things that you can use it for are a little bit more limited uh, applying it to your beds is fine as a mulch because over the course of winter it'll, the winter will take a lot of that heat out of it the rain will wash it through um, a lot of that nitrogen will get washed out so your plants won't suffer as much from nitrogen burn but don't spread it extreme excessively so spread it um, in a modest layer um, the grit is great for adding to a hot compost now so i'm going to take it and i'm thinking about building uh, a jean pinot style compost bit bay in my, in my greenhouse i think the hot bed's working so i want to add that now to my greenhouse and if i get around to doing it and then that's my next step. I'm going to use some of the horse manure to mulch with. I'm going to, if I do go down the right road of making that uh, Jean Pinot style uh, hot, hot compost bed, then I think I'm going to do that. But I want to get as much in as I can now while it's winter, while there's not much going on in the garden. Just so I'm prepping for next year and I'm prepping for the year after because these kind of trips and collecting the material when you've got the chance is all an investment. So. At the moment when there's not much growing in the garden and there's not a lot to do, you can do these, this prep work and, and prepare yourself. The way I see it is take every opportunity when you can get it. So you get, I've got this opportunity of going and getting this horse manure now, so I'm picking up as much as I can. And I know I'm gonna use it over the coming season, if not in, a, in this growing season, at least in the next growing season. So yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. I love horse manure, what, what else can I say? <coughs> So look at this massive, beautiful stuff here, just ready bad up for me to just go and pick up and off I go on my bike. I think I want to fill this car up, fill this trailer up and I'll come back next week and fill another lot. <laughs>
So there we go, a nice load full there. So we'll come back next weekend and we'll get another one. About this place is you just turn up, turn up, and within five minutes, park up, load the trailer, and you're off. There's no shoveling horse food. There's none of that disaster that happened to me last time when I fell in and getting the horse pool juice all over my face and <laughs> in my mouth and stuff like that. So yeah, there's not none of that nastiness. It's just me turning up with a trailer, filling it, and off we go. And the can, so <laughs> what can I complain about? <laughs> My dad had a hot spoon shower. <laughs>